Hi, Theo here from ElectroFX.com on behalf of Ovo.CZ. In this video we will take a look at how to install and use the professional FlexiBar charting software by Ovo. This is a custom time frame based charting package which will allow you to create any time frame chart that you like. That's right down to the second and in one second increments. So I'm going to demonstrate how to install the software and how it all works. If you'd like to follow along and at the same time get a free trial of this software then just hit pause for a second and head over to ovo.cz to download yourself a copy. And while you're there you should also grab the Omnia remote because I'm going to show you how that works also. Both the trial and the full versions of this FlexiBar charting package are the same file so once your trial period expires you can just enter a license key and keep on using it. Uh, the free trial period is 15 days and then every 90 days you're going to get another 15 day trial just in case you're revisiting this software after some time away. If you've already purchased a license key then get that email handy because I'll quickly show you how activation works and it's also worth mentioning at this stage that a license for this software is included with a VIP membership at electrofx.com. Now with the software downloaded and your MetaTrader platform open, we can first install the indicators. And the easiest way to do this is to go to File Open Data Folder. This takes us to the location of the files for our install of MetaTrader that we're looking at. It certainly won't look like mine, uh, I've very much customized the, the install, but uh, it doesn't matter. The only thing that's important is that you go to File Open Data Folder and that way you know you're in the right location. Now, if you go into the MQL4 folder and then into the Indicators folder, this is where you can paste in the FlexiBar and the Omnia Remote software that you've downloaded. And once you've done that, you can just then go to this Indicators tree right here, right click and hit Refresh and those indicators will appear. Now before we open a chart, we're going to make a couple of settings here in Tools Options. The first one is in Charts. MetaTrader by default does not give you a lot of history. Uh, I like to set this to 380,000 bars and when you think about that, 380,000 M1 bars is just over a year of data. Uh, 380,000 M5 bars is just over five years and so on and so forth. So. Uh, this is the way I like to do things. You can increase that number, of course. It's just my opinion. And the Expert Advisors tab is where you're going to just make sure that Allowed DLL Imports is checked. And that'll save us doing it on a case-by-case -case basis. This is a, a global setting. Once that's done, you can click OK. And we will open up a chart. I'll use the Euro Dollar. Now, with this software, it doesn't matter which standard MetaTrader time frame you're using. I'm going to use M1 uh, as a habit. And I can now just either double click the flexi bar or I can drag it onto the chart. And if we quickly run through these tabs right here, we have the About tab. It's just going to tell you the version that you're running and some information about the software. The Common tab, this is where because we made that global selection, Allow DLL Imports is checked. If we hadn't done that, it wouldn't have been checked and we would need to do it every time we place the indicator on a chart. So that one is done. The inputs are quite simple. First of all, we have the custom period in seconds. Now using the Omnia remote, we're going to be able to control this very easily from the chart. So I'm just going to leave this to default. It's 300 seconds, that's five minutes. So it's going to create an M5 chart, which of course we have already built into MetaTrader, but I'm going to show you how this particular step of the process doesn't matter and we're going to have full control over that in just a sec. Now, If you want to specify a, a specific time frame for this, providing it's not one of these standard MetaTrader time frames, you can select anything else that you want. If I just use a number like 4 for example, then it's going to create my my chart on the M4. It's going to default to the M. If I wanted it to be H, then I would have to specify that H. And if I wanted it to be D, I could specify that D and, and any number I want, as long as it's not D1, of course, because that is built into MetaTrader. So I'm just going to select an H8 uh, for this example. 
The number of offline candles is how many bars that chart will contain. 1,000 bars is enough to fill up any HD monitor these days, but if you want more history, you'll have to increase this number. The session control is not really something you need to worry about with the flexi bar. And if you have a, an activation code, this is where you paste it in. This last variable the author has instructed me is, is not really important for the average user, so we won't need to worry about that. Activation codes, if you have purchased one, you'll receive an email. It'll look something like this, and your activation code will be there, so you can just copy it and then you would come over to this input right here and just paste that in. Uh, now we're not going to do that for this example and if you don't have a code it doesn't matter the software will still run and you will start your 15 day free trial. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and as you can see here it appears on the bottom of the chart I've got my free evaluation for 15 days and I can actually put on as many instances as I want. I'll just add another one and as you can see it creates another chart and it selected the time frame for me because I didn't specify it. Now we only need one for this example so I'm going to keep the H8 that we just set up and I'm going to launch the H8 and it opens up straight away for me there. Now because I happen to have a template that is named offline it automatically applies that template for me. And what I want to do now is I want to have full control over this chart. I'm going to use the Omnia remote. So if I drag that on the chart and click OK, you can have the uh, clock display yes or no. And if there's an unreliable part in the chart, you can have that displayed for you. And we just go ahead and click OK. You have the remote down here. You can remove it with the X. You've got the time there. And this is a countdown letting you know how long is left in the current open bar. So you know when the next one, uh, when this one will close, the next one will open. Over here, this will just bring the feed chart to the forefront. And then I can go back to the H8. We can do that on the tab. So uh, it's not a big deal, but it's just uh, another way to do that. Uh, the session control, like I say, doesn't really matter with these time-based charts. And then uh, you can see here we're running a flexi bar. So when we look at the remote now, you see it says M5. It doesn't say 300 seconds. It says M5 because it, it knows that this is a, a five-minute chart and it's rounded that up for you. And if I now enter a number, any number, let's just say I enter 80, by default, it's going to use the seconds variable. So when I hit 80, you can see it puts an S in front of it. And now this is an 80-second chart. So each candle on this chart is 80 seconds. If I specify the M and I put 20, for example, M20, this is going to be a 20 minute chart. So each candle is 20 minutes. And if I specify an H and I put perhaps H2, it's going to create a two hour chart where each candle is two hours. And I can even take that into the daily as well. Uh, I could put a D2 where each candle is two days of trading and I could take it as far as the weekly. I could make a, a two weekly chart where each candle is, is two weeks. So really you have full control, much better than the standard time frames that MetaTrader has built in. Plus you can use the standard MetaTrader time frames. They're not going to look any different. If I open up a, a Euro dollar H4 chart right now and load that offline template and then we take a look exactly the same chart so it's no different and uh, ultimately you just have a lot more control over your chart you can change between time frames uh, very easily and use any time frame you want as opposed to being limited to these set built-in time frames now you can also zoom in and out of the market using these arrows if you hover the mouse over it you'll see uh, if we just click, we're going to increase by double. If we hit this way, we're going to decrease by half, 50% and 200%. But you can also shift click and control click to, to really have a lot of control over that. So if I go this way, I go from the four hour to the two hour to the one hour to the 30 minute, and I can scroll back through standard MetaTrader timeframes basically. But if we start at an eight hour chart, for example, 
uh, we would then go back to h4 or we could go up to h16 32 64 and so on and so forth and we're just zooming out in and out of the market that way so that may or may not be useful to you uh, but it is there and that really concludes this video there's nothing more to it uh, it's very straightforward if you have any questions though just post uh, below this video and we'll be sure to get them answered for you as soon as possible